It's Nadia from Modern Imaginings and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be painting encaustic wax planets and spacescapes. Wow, this card is so shiny. Compared to this, which is quite shiny, you can just see the glare. This is extra shiny. I'm sorry, I can't really do very much about that. Um, as I'm working into it, hopefully this will be less apparent. Let's go. <laughs> Would you believe that even without the light, you can see my face and the tripod um, without any light on this? That's crazy! At least with the light, you can't see my face. This red isn't showing up at all, so we're going to go with silver. Which I have been told shows up very well on the black card. Ah, that's better. I just ignore that. <laughs> What I'm going to go for here is some Milky Way kind of vibes. And then adding a planet. I've got gold here. I've not got very much gold. I do use a lot of it. And we're going to mix and match these two techniques. I'm going to use this template to apply the gold. It's so tasty. Now it looks like I've got two planets. <laughs> Still, it doesn't need to be very circular, this, because it's just loose. Oh, that's beautiful. If you're enjoying this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. It will be much appreciated. Are you an encaustic artist? If so, have you tried any of these techniques used in this video? And if not, let's talk techniques down in the comments. Let me know how you make encaustic paintings. And what is your favourite subject to paint? So we'll say we've got another planet down here. I like there to be some form of foreground to these, just because I'm very inspired in these by David Hardy, uh, Space Scenes. There we go, that shows up now. That's a very nice green. So I could put a tad of that there even. Silver green. I've made a new colour, it's called silver green. <laughs> this is like a uh, Milky Way, or maybe yeah, some sort of atmosphere. It's quite cool that I could even add a little bit of that to this. I've got gold green. Um, could I add some speckles and spots? This is a very detailed planet. There's lots going on down here. That's pretty good. You can't see it very well because of the glare, unfortunately. Ah, oh, there we've got a nice bit of atmospheric stuff going on. I'm going to do the same over here so you can see what I was doing there. This is quite a cool technique. This like gives it like a, a moon effect with all the craters going on. I'm sort of picking up the wax rather than putting it down. And I've got this little spot of gold that's fallen off my tiny little gold piece that's coming to bits. So what I'm going to do is just break it up. And see if we can add some stars that way. If I just sat that there, it would probably melt. Cool. 
Cool. which colors work on the black card. I'm going to do one that's not on the hot plate and mainly just using the iron. So I've moved this over just a little bit and the light is now hopefully not going to glare on it too much. And I'm going to do it this way to try and do something similar to this. Uh, now I know which colours work on the black card, I should have a better time of that. So I'm going to go for like some sort of background colour, probably gold. This technique is called scrying, where you just put down a pattern as a base to work from and it's really fantastic because you can see all sorts of different things going on and that informs where the art goes. That's pretty nice. Oh that's lovely. We'll go with that. Now I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use the tip of the iron to draw a planet. viewpoint is has got these rings okay that's quite shiny so this is the way I used these when I first thought of the idea and I'd forgotten this because it had been such a long time since I've done anything with them. And the way I did this was without putting anything down on the card, just sweeping the wax over it. So I'm going to do that with this lovely copper, which I'm getting very fond of. <laughs> one more with the hot plate because I think this is really really hot now and it's gonna do this effect really well. 
Uh, I'm not going to be able to get rid of the glare unless I move it right over here. So that's okay. And I've got a little circle of cardboard which I just cut out. And I'm going to just do that. But first I'm going to just put down a base of colour. And it's still not remarkably hot. Uh, it's getting more of a much more liquid wax and I'm still getting these bits coming off it. That'll do. Now let's try this. Press it down, move it about a bit. That's alright! Look at that. I'll just take a wee tissue and clean it up. Awesome. That's like a vortex going on around it as well, which is really cool. If you just move it about right to the edges. This is quite hot. <laughs> and then lift it up. That's actually awesome in its own right. You could just leave that there. But instead we're just going to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I still got the red on here so this silver is coming out really red. trials and errors as you do but out of these two paintings the first two that I did I must say I prefer the black one and looking at the other pictures I did comparing these two I think perhaps I also like the black one best you could join them together and have an entire scene there that's not bad <laughs> Um, the only downside is it's super reflective, this black, and compared to the playing card, it's a bit of a shame that it's so reflective. I think the black one worked better here as well, which is why I then went on and did two other paintings on the black card. Oops. <laughs> and I'm really feeling this. In fact, the last one I did was probably my favourite out of the whole day's painting and I'm so happy with this. It looks like it's on a landscape with alien pyramids or something and just really want to explore some more with black card. In fact, if you have got any suggestions, leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what you think I ought to paint next on black encaustic card. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you enjoy my encaustic painting technique, why not consider subscribing? Thank you very much for watching. Bye!